show. If you haven't seen it before, uh, we take actors. These actors have memorized scripts like they would for any play, a play they might see at the alley or at stages theater. They memorize the script, they, uh, they, they internalize it as they would any other role that they might perform. And then we invite an improviser to come up on stage who doesn't know anything about the play, much like you don't know anything about the play, because the death of American theater is all about faults. <laughs> <laughs> so the lights come back up. Magical lying out! We are celebrating our election. And you know what else I'm celebrating? My birthday. <laughs> I'm celebrating because I've got a friend who tells me the things that ought to be told to me. Dad, I really like <laughs> that you include me in all of your political adventures. But seriously, I really don't understand how to connect with you on this level. Yeah. <laughs> right, stick to it, Emily. I'm glad you spoke to me like you did. <laughs> well, you'll see. I'm going to change so fast, you bet I'm going to change. <laughs> and, Emily, can I ask you a favor? Well, yeah, I mean, you're my dad. And <laughs> <laughs> if I go away to State Agriculture College next year, <laughs> when I wouldn't want to know everything about our town. I know that's true. <laughs> Dear Dad. Comma. 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 Things are <laughs> you know, Emily, every time I meet a farmer, I ask him if he thinks it's important to go to agriculture school to be a good farmer. <laughs> yeah, and some of them even say it's a waste of time. You can get all that in the pamphlets the government sends out. Uncle Luke's getting old, but he's about ready for me to start taking over his farm tomorrow, if I could. Well, I mean, if you're asking me for, like, do, you, do I think it's a solid investment? Um, <laughs> you know, traditionally, uh, agriculture is, you're not going to make a lot of money, but, I mean, you're going to have stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> Like you say, going other places, meeting other people. God. If anything like that could happen, I don't want to go away. I guess new people aren't any better than the old ones. I guess they almost never are. Well, I don't want you to go away if you don't want to go away. I mean, I don't have to send these letters. I can just keep them here and I'm just here. <laughs> I feel you're as good a friend as I've got. I don't need to go and meet people in other towns. Well... <laughs> Dad... I think... If you don't work on a farm, and you don't leave, and you don't meet new people, you... No, you need to meet new people. <laughs> I mean... Problem. I'm gonna make up my mind right now. <laughs> I won't go. I'll tell Paul about it tonight. Okay, well, um, I set you up an okay Cupid. Um, because it's like leaving without leaving. But you don't have to tell Granddad that if you don't mind. <laughs> Emily? Yeah? I'm glad you spoke to me about that, that fault in my character. 
<laughs> what you said was right, but there was one thing wrong in it, and that's when you said that I wasn't noticing people. <laughs> you, for instance. <laughs> Why you say you were watching me while I did everything? <laughs> well, I was doing the same about you all the time. <laughs> but sure, I always thought of you as one of the chief people I thought about. <laughs> I always made sure where you were sitting on the bleachers and who you were with, and for three days now I've tried walking home with you. Something always got the way. <laughs> Yesterday I was waiting over by that wall for you, and you walked home with Miss Corcoran. I don't like it when you call mom like that. <laughs> tell you why I'm not going to agriculture school. Okay. See, I think... Don't cry, Dad. I think once you've found someone you're fond of, I mean, someone who's fond of you, too, likes you enough to be interested in your character. Yeah. Well, I think that's just as important as college is, and even more so, that's what I think. I'm, I'm getting some weird mixed messages. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like if you, if like, you like somebody and they like you, like, just don't go to school? <laughs> <laughs> you were following me from school the other day while you were also following me and mom from school. And like, I always thought that you were just like, go do it. Like, go follow your dreams. Like. Even if you have to go away, even if you have to go work on a farm, you know? Like, I feel like, I feel like I don't know how to feel anymore. Emily? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, if I do improve? Yeah. <laughs> and make a big change? Uh-huh. <laughs> would you be? <laughs> Could you be? Princess! <laughs> <laughs> guess this is an important talk we've been having. <laughs> I can be a princess. <laughs> Wait just a minute and I'll walk you home. There's nothing. <laughs>